We are celebrating black heritage by profiling some of the people who help create the rich fabric of the Bay Area. NBC's Joe Rosado Jr. shows us a pioneer of the Silicon Valley told through the eyes and voices of his sons. In modern Silicon Valley, today's tech workforce is increasingly a rainbow of people. That wasn't the face of the valley back when Roy Clay went to work there in the 1960s. There weren't that many people working in software, period. And there were even fewer you know, people of color working in technology at all. Clay is known as the black godfather of Silicon Valley. But his story is that of a man who scaled obstacles on his way to becoming a tech pioneer. My dad was born and raised in a city called Kinloch, Missouri. This was predominantly a black town. I was right next to a predominantly white town called Ferguson, Missouri. Now, his mother told him from his three teenage years that he should never let racism stop him. That it was something that he'd probably have to deal with his entire life. Clay loved math and technology, so he applied for a job at McDonnell Aircraft Company in St. Louis. He was told that the company could not hire him because they did not hire professional Negroes. But Clay didn't relent. He applied again and was eventually hired. He then followed his next opportunity to the Bay Area as a computer programmer with Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. So he had that opportunity to come and basically do Fortran programming uh, to simulate what a nuclear, what the effects of a nuclear blast would be in the Bay Area. Opportunity knocked again in 1965 when Clay was hired by David Packard himself to head Hewlett Packard's software division. He said David Packard's vision was he didn't care if you were black, yellow, brown, green, whatever. They were going to get the best person for whatever job. Living in mostly white Palo Alto with his wife and three sons, the Clays stood out. And yet this trailblazer saw opportunity to make even more change, so he ran for local office. He was first African-American on the Palo Alto City Council. Like he knew um, what he wanted to do, and uh, he would go after it even if people told him it was impossible. He passed up a lot of opportunities that would have been very lucrative, but he passed them up because it would have taken away from his family time. When Clay left Hewlett Packard in the early 70s, he'd go on to start his own company, Rod L. Electronics. It was there he'd earn his nickname, Black Godfather of Silicon Valley. Once the door was opened for him, he made it a point to keep that door open and bring in other people. That's why they call him the Godfather, the Black Godfather of Silicon Valley, is because the people that he brought along. At the age of 93, Clay recently suffered a health issue that's left him unable to speak. And so today, his three sons, Chris, Roy Jr., and Rodney, speak for him. They helped write a book of Clay's life called Unstoppable, the unlikely story of a Silicon Valley godfather. So it's really about not only what he accomplished, but kind of the, his, his view on life. It's the story of a pioneer who pushed technology and civil rights forward simply by following his own path. He, he just wanted to keep pushing the envelope forward. Joe Rosado Jr., <laughs> NBC Bay Area News.